What's going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Thank you so much for joining me today. We're going to talk about Shinmu, Shinmu 3, and Shinmu Remakes. A lot of people out there in my age group know, respect, admire, and appreciate the original Shinmu and Shinmu 2 games. Those games really solidified for us now what we expect in modern RPG and adventure games. Shinmu seamlessly married real-time action with extremely deep RPG elements and an environment where you could virtually interact with every single object. Fully voice acted characters, it was really ahead of its time. And even though Shinmu today doesn't really stand up very well because of the control scheme for what they accomplished and for the way that they really affected future video game production, it's a classic and it'll always be one. So there are a lot of gamers out there, myself included, who would love to see Shinmu 1 and Shinmu 2 remastered and re-released for modern hardware. Put it out there for PC, put it out there for PS4, and put it out there for Xbox. And it hasn't happened. People have wanted Shinmu for years. And there's really some very interesting reasons as to why. I'll drop a link in the description. Sega explains why remakes haven't happened yet. Sega wants to remake the popular Shinmu games for you. It really does, but a number of factors are holding the titles back. Some are understandable, and some will have you yanking your hair follicles out in frustration. Speaking to MCV, Sega Europe lead Jurgen Post expressed interest in the remakes and acknowledged their demand, but he also took the chance to spell out the problems with them. First up is a pretty easy reason to guess. Both Shinmu 1 and 2 are big games, and sinking money into replicating their detail would be quite an undertaking. That's pretty understandable. Quote, the issue is that it's a big game. It's a project from many years ago, end quote. The second main reason, though, is enough to make any fan of retro gaming frustrated beyond redemption, and that's the licensing issues holding it back. Shimmy was released back before gaming had fully developed its corporate legs, partnerships, sponsors, and product placement. While such practices are no problem nowadays, games from 15 years ago weren't forward-looking enough to account for the popularity of these remakes and re-releases, and many are unable to see second releases because of expired contracts. Quote, if we are to do it, we want to do a fantastic inversion to the current platforms, and there are a lot of licenses in the game, which were cleared many years ago, so we will need to renegotiate those contracts, end quote. The post goes on to explain that the company is considering the remakes, but it has nothing to announce at this time. I understand the frustrations of fans, but my understanding is that if you are a gamer with the ability to appreciate Shinmu, then you probably know how to appreciate your old consoles as well. That Dreamcast is still somewhere in your basement, or your mom's basement in my case. While waiting for Sega to get around to the release, why don't you dig it up? <laughs> End quote. So um, that's really a, a very interesting argument uh, and that's one that I can understand as a gamer and I do kind of see the issues that development would have uh, re-releasing Shinmu because Shinmu is filled with product placement it's filled with all that stuff and uh, if those contracts have expired then developers would probably have to jump through tons and tons of hoops to uh, reenact that either that or they would have to change a lot of the original in-game assets uh, I think that it's inevitable that at some point we will get a remaster of Shin Mew. I mean, I don't think any publisher or developer will leave that kind of money on the table when there's a game this big with this much nostalgia behind it. You see how many people are excited about Shin Mew 3 and Yu Suzuki making that. The game was kickstarted and funded in just a matter of minutes, it seemed. And so, if they were to re-release Shin Mew 1 and Shin Mew 2 to get people really excited about Shin Mew 3, I think that would be a great idea. If I was you, Sega, I would get started on that dealing with some of these companies that you had these contracts with years ago because there's a ton of people out there who would love to play Shinmu 3 who never had any chance to play Shinmu 1 and Shinmu 2. People who are 18, 19, and 20 probably never had a Dreamcast. I still have mine, I still have Shinmu so I could still play it and enjoy it. But there's a lot of people who don't know what all the excitement is about when people rally around the name Shinmu. And if you guys were to re-release that, you could basically restart the fire and get new fans just as passionate about the old game as old fans were. You guys let me know what you think in the comments below. Is this an understandable argument that, of course, is going to take a lot of money to remaster all that world? It's a semi-open world kind of experience. It isn't a fully open world. But it is a huge world with lots of things to do, tons of things to interact with. That That is the first part of their argument. It's going to take a lot of money to do. And the second part of their argument is it's a lot of product placement in this game. There's a lot of contracts that have expired 
and it would be a huge undertaking to go back through and get all that stuff uh, figured out again for a remake. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Be sure to give a thumbs up, show support for the channel, follow me on Facebook and Twitter, and tell all your friends about me. Thank you guys for watching the video today. I'm the Beastly Gamer, and I'll see you guys next time.